good evening to all we'll start the session in the last session we discussed the concepts of basic things that is how to install python ideally how to save write and execute the program how do we use comments so the variables and the basic data types these are the things that we had discussed in the last session now in this session i will move to some additional point that is decision making statements decision making statements and what is mean by this decision statement before that one i will give you the overall classification general the name is control statement control statements means the statements that control the flow of execution the statements that control the flow of execution such statements are called control statements three types of control statements are there one is decision making statement next one is iterative statement and the next one is jumping statement these are the three types of control statements decision making iterative and jumping so first i will give you the idea what is mean by decision making statements in the today's session okay now decision making are also called as conditional statement also called as conditional statement what is the meaning of this one for example if you are writing a program generally how the program is executed generally the program is executed in a sequence fashion sequence fashion in the sense line by line first line 1 is executed after completion line 2 after completion line 3 line 4 so what is the flow of the program flow of the program is simply sequence that is in a sequence order the statements are executed but coming to decision making or conditional statement means simply we are changing the flow of control we are changing the flow of control means instead of executing the program in a sequential fashion at one particular point you are checking one condition you are checking one condition suppose if the condition is true you are executing some set of statements if the condition is false we are executing other set of statements suppose understand my point i am going in the way at one particular point i have two routes now based on your decision you are selecting either route 1 or route 2 but remember you are selecting only one route yes or no that is called decision making control flow you got the point control flows means it controls the flow of execution for doing decision making statements these are the things simple if if else third one if else if and else fourth one nested if these four are used for decision making statements these four are used for decision making statement okay now move one by one first i will explain if else then you will get the complete idea so if you understand if else means the remaining three are very 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 easy if who else so what is the syntax if followed by some condition if is the keyword compulsory you need to use the same keyword if followed by some condition 
colon everyone remember colon is compulsory anyway just to understand whenever i move to the program you will get the complete idea not a problem just to understand if space condition colon here you are writing some set of statements else colon you are writing some set of statements here what is the meaning of this one simple thing at this particular position here i am checking one condition here i am checking one condition so whenever you are evaluating the condition there are two possible cases whether the condition is true whether the condition is true or the condition is false yes or no two possible cases if the condition is true or condition is false suppose that is if followed by some condition you are evaluating the condition here this colon specifies once you return this colon and press enter the statements are written from this position not at the beginning so these are called block generally this space in python is called indentation remember the name the spaces in python here that is called indentation so inside the if you are writing some set of statements you are writing some set of statements with same indentation this is consider as a block for example block 1 if the condition is true then block 1 is executed suppose if the condition is false within the else also depending upon program this is block 2 block 2 is executed think you clear the point either block 1 or block 2 only one is executed that means the statements inside the if is executed or the statements inside the else are executed anyway either block 1 or block 2 is executed next continue with the remaining part so the program is not completed this is simply somewhere in the program continue with the remaining part of the program i think just you are getting one idea up to now you don't know how to write a program also even you don't know how to write a program also but directly i am explaining if else understand carefully very simple what i said program means simply set of instructions to do one task so to perform one operation we are writing some sequence of instructions suppose if the sequence of instructions are executed in a sequential fashion that is after completion of one step step 2 step 3 step 4 step 4 that is the normal flow and within the program depending upon the condition we can change the flow of the program also so for that these are the things now you are understanding one basic idea either true or false now before continue this topic i will move to some another topic again come back why means the interrelation is the more most important now right now i will explain some three to four programs to write a program first program to uh, for example calculate area of a circle so this is my first program my first program is to calculate area of a circle everyone observe carefully for example first i read the radius r is equal to some 3 point 2 so this is my radius area is equal to 3.14 into r into r pi r square formula just to formula and then print area so just here i am printing the area finally you are getting the output perfect the program executed successfully anyway i will show you 
see the output i d l v one second now it is open i will type and execute the program so within this program what i written simply read the radius and calculate the area read the radius and calculate the area file new file so here simply r is equal to from 3.2 area is equal to 3.14 into r into r print area okay fine save So with any name, I saved the program run run module. So this is the area of the circle. Anyway, now observe carefully. If I run another time, you are getting the same answer. If I execute another time, you are getting the same answer. But what is my requirement? What is a program? Whatever the input you are given. the program is executed according to that input for example if i given radius as 3.2 you are calculating area with radius 3.2 if i given 5 calculate according to 5 so whatever the value i given the operation is performed according to that value you clear my point now understand carefully here Directly, I given the value. Now, I will add some additional thing. Remember, this is my next topic. What is my next topic? Reading input from the user. User means programmer at the time of execution. Whenever at the time of execution to read the input from the user. how to read the input from the user for that one function is there input of is the function here two to three topics are interrelated understand carefully how to read input from the user input of it is the function which is used to read the input for example generally i written a is equal to 3 b is equal to 4 so right side you are given the values now instead of given the values you can write a is equal to input of whenever this statement is executed executed means at the time of running it asks the user enter one value enter one value whatever the value you given that is stored in a b is equal to input of whenever the statement is executed the enter value is stored in b now i will show you first a is equal to input of b is equal to input of okay that means observe carefully here i am not given any value previously i given a is equal to 2 b is equal to 3 right now i am not given any value here what i am doing just to printing the value i am not doing anything just to printing the value print a print b save now observe executed the program here cursor is blinking at this you are given some value sum 3 now first to the value you entered 3 is copied into variable a next to suppose 5 5 is copied into b now print print is used for printing the output the value of a is displayed the value of b is displayed i think you got my point you clear the point so now if you execute one more time here you can give another values think you got it why you are using input function instead of writing the value directly here if you are using the input function 
you can execute the program that is you can give the input at the time of execution okay fine it is not completed within the input if you want you can write some prompt prompt in the sense simply some messages prompt in the sense simply some messages just to for user understanding what is this message now if i execute this one observe what happened just to cursor is blinking i don't know what is to be entered i don't know what is to be given 7 9 okay instead of that one within the input function within the input within quotation you, you, you give any value enter a value i think you got my point the message is just to for user understanding only this is compulsory you need to give the enter a value or enter b value compulsory those are not required you can give any value according to your requirement suppose just to for my understanding enter b value okay save and run the program now enter a value okay by seeing the message okay i need to enter some value that is to be stored in a so the value that is stored in b clear the point this is the input function so simply variable name is equal to variable name is equal to one second please one second okay okay observe here what we learn reading the input from the user when at the time of execution at the time of execution so variable name is equal to input of some prompt to prompt to specify that is a message prompt to specify that is a message you clear my point in this way you are reading the variable finally not completed not completed i will give you one more additional point so in the data types i used some data types into flow to boolean complex you know only the things among them one more data type is their string right now i will give you one point about string okay what is a string string is simply a sequence of characters string is a sequence of characters that are enclosed within quotations so all are interrelated anyway by the end i will combine all these things you will get the complete idea no problem string is a sequence of characters that are enclosed within quotations for example s1 is equal to welcome this is a string s2 is equal to suppose good morning this is a string 
that means either single quotation or double quotation so if you are writing any sequence of characters that is called a string suppose s3 is equal to 123 remember this is also a string not a number why within single quotation not only alphabets whatever you written within quotations that is a string whether it is a letter or alphabet or digits or special symbols anything if in quotations that is a string why i am stressed to this point means for example if you apply plus symbol between two numbers the plus symbol between two numbers the output is addition the output is addition similarly if you apply plus symbol between two strings the output is concatenation concatenation means combining hi hello you got my point so the addition symbol if you apply between the numbers it performs the addition operation if you apply between apply between strings apply between strings the output is concatenation means simply combining the two strings combining the two strings you clear the point now why i am discussing all these things finally come to conclusion see this one S1 is equal to hi. S2 is equal to hello. S1 is a string. S2 is a string. S1 plus S2. The output is hi, hello. Hi, hello. Clear? Now, now with this uh, here, instead of printing, here I am performing some addition operation c is equal to a plus b print c c is equal to a plus b print c save and run the program now enter a value suppose a value is equal to 5 enter b value b value is equal to 4 according to our expectation what is the output 5 plus 4 9 9 is stored in C and we are printing the C. So, according to our expectation, the output is 9. But observe, the output is not 9. The output is 5, 4. You got any idea? The output is 5, 4. Based on this one, what you are getting? Based on the output, you what you observed? Very, very simple thing. What you observed in the sense, 5, 4, not perform addition. 5, 4 are concatenated. Concatenation is done between the strings only. The concatenation is done between the strings only. That means, the entered value 5 is a string. If you have any doubt, check type of A. It is str means string type of b string. Now what you observed? Even though you entered in the number format by default, this is my final point. By default, the input function takes only string data type. By default, the input function takes only string even though you are given the integers but the system takes string only i think up to now clear then very simple question the question is i want to perform addition but the input is in the string format how it is possible very simple convert the string into integer convert the string into integer for that conversion we are using one predefined function int of so int of here you are writing some string whatever the string you written 
that is converted into integer now i will explain clearly observe first a is equal to input of enter a value b is equal to input of enter b value okay this is the statement i written first what happened whenever you are executing the program the input function is executed within the input function first to message enter a value whatever the message you given exactly the same message is displayed exactly the same message is displayed enter a value you given a value 5 now that is assigned to a now a host 5 internally in this format internally 5 is in the form of string now this statement is executed immediately this message is printed enter b value the value you entered is suppose 4 now b variable stores the string 4 now the next statement you written is c is equal to a plus b c is equal to 5 is a string 4 is a string so perform concatenation now what i am doing simple thing is this input function by default takes the string now this entire thing is converted into integer that means int of 5 int of 5 so 5 is a string string 5 is converted into integer 5 now string of 4 string 4 is converted into integer 4 now int of within bracket you are writing so first within bracket statement is executed that is the reason first this message is printed and input is executed whatever the string you are given that is converted into integer and then assigned to variable a and b now see this one delete so observe carefully int int of so this is the function to convert the string into integer who generates the string this input function generates the string similarly b is equal to int of so now perform the addition operation 5 4 you are getting the answer 5 plus 4 9 you clear the point so not only integer not only integer suppose if you want to float f l o a t float save so 2.3 3.5 exactly you are getting the answer initially 2.3 is string the string is converted into integer finally one conclusion so hi is it possible even though that is a string if it is number format then it is possible to convert you got my point even though int function is used to convert the string into integer to convert the string into integer but the string is in number format string is in number format but high is not in number format it gives an error value error observe could not convert the string to float high it is not possible to convert okay now what you observe so finally that today our first topic is completed the topic is reading input from the user from the user why means at the time of execution the program is executed according to the values according to the values now move back to decision making statements 
under decision making statements i am using the first one if else again i will write how do you write if followed by some condition colon here you can write the condition with in brackets or without brackets that is optional colon statement 1 statement 2 statement 3 you can write any number of statements but the thing is space called indentation so after colon press enter if you press enter control is at this position not at the beginning not at the beginning of the screen control is at this position if you are writing any set of statements with the same indentation that is called a block now when the block is executed whenever the condition is true this block is executed if the condition is true this block is executed yes else specifies suppose if the condition is false if the no need to check the condition if it is condition true false means automatically moves to else here also statement 4 statement 5 statement 6 and so on so depending upon the program you can execute any number of statements okay now continue with the remaining first i will explain one simple program largest among two numbers my program is largest among two numbers so how do you check two numbers for example if two numbers are a comma b so a is a variable which consists of one value b is a variable which also consists of one value so if the value either a or b assume not equal for example assume the worst case not equal if the value of a is greater than b or value of b is greater than a how can you check generally we know the mathematics a greater than b what happened if the value present in a is greater than the value present in b then a is the largest value otherwise b is the largest value now i will write down one program then you will get the complete area. Now read the two numbers. So just for simplicity, I am using int data type. Whatever you can use, not a problem. You can use any data type. Okay. Now observe if is the keyword followed by condition. What is my condition? A greater than b if keyword followed by condition my condition is a greater than b after the condition you need to write colon colon okay clear press enter observe the position of the cursor see this one this is the position of the cursor from you are not allowed to modify the cursor position please don't give any spaces Wherever the cursor is showing, type that position. Okay. Now, whatever the statements written, for example, print, I am printing some message. A is large. If you want, again press enter, see the cursor. Print, uh, I am in L, sorry, I am in if block. Just for your understanding, I written two statements. So, exactly depending upon the program, you can write either a single statement, two statements, whatever it is. That is depending upon the program. Just for your understanding, I written two statements. Press enter. Everyone clear? If followed by condition, colon. So, here this is called the block. These two statements belongs to the block press enter again the cursor is in the same position now you are not interested to write any statement inside the if give one backspace see this one where we have here else 
that is if u else are in the same level if u else are in the same level then only that is a pair then only that is a pair you clear my point now yes print so if the condition fail condition fail means which one is the largest one condition fail means b is the largest one yes or no yes or no print type one message b is large okay one statement is sufficient but for your understanding i written one more statement print i am in else block so i am inside the else block press enter now your if and else completed yes if it is completed give one backspace continue with the remaining part so by the end of if else your program is not completed this is simply some part in the program for example i am outside of if else observe the statements are just for your understanding i repeated multiple number of times so like this continue with the remaining part now execute enter a value i given a value is equal to 9 b value is equal to 4 what happened check the condition 9 greater than 5 the condition is true if the condition is true enter inside the if inside the if these two statements are there execute the two statements and then continue with the remaining part else is not executed else is not executed see this one these are the two statements that are written inside the if this is the statement remaining part of the program now execute one more time suppose a value 5 b value 9 now observe the program 5 greater than 9 the condition false if the condition false immediately you are moving to the else block immediately you are moving to the else block then execute the statements inside the else execute the statements inside the else and continue with the remaining part of the program see this one the statements inside the else continue with the remaining part i think everyone clear so the decision making statement change the flow of control change the flow of control so right now i explained only one thing that is if else if else next to one next to what is actually the first one the first one is simple if compared to if else this is easy simple if means here what is the syntax if followed by some condition colon some set of statements and continue here what is the meaning first it evaluates the condition if the condition is true execute the statements inside this one execute the statements inside this one after execution continue with the remaining part of the program continue with the remaining part of the program suppose if the condition is false these statements are not executed anyway continue with the remaining part of the program you are you observe the difference in the if else if the condition is true one set of statements if the condition is false other set of statements so two ways are there either statement if statements or else statement after that continue with the remaining part but coming to simple if if the condition is true then only the statement is executed if the condition is false you no need to do anything simply ignore that one and continue with the remaining what is the most popular example observe i think everyone know in mathematics absolute of a number what is mean by absolute absolute means always positive number 
always positive number. Suppose if I given a is equal to plus 5, what is the absolute of a? Plus 5 only. Already your value is 5, even given absolute of a is 5. Now, suppose a is equal to minus 5. Now, what is the absolute of a? In this case, plus 5. We clear the point. Absolute means always the result is positive. Suppose if your number is a positive number, you no need to do any operation. Yes or no? Again, I am repeating. Absolute of a number means simply the number is a positive number. For example, already your number is a positive number. You no need to do anything. Just to print the value. And if your number is a negative number, then what you are doing? Convert the negative into positive how minus of minus 5 plus 5 so minus is the symbol now i will write down one program okay now coming to this program here i will place this program in comments i will place this program in comments you already know comments are not executed comments are not executed right now take one value a is equal to already so here i need one value a now observe what is my program if a is positive you no need to do anything just to print the value if a is negative, perform some operation. Yes or no? If a value is less than 0, this is condition. Are you clear? Negative numbers less than 0 means negative number. Here what I are doing? a becomes minus a. What is the meaning of this one? Don't confuse. So a is equal to 3 a is equal to a plus 1. What is the meaning of this one? Already the first statement a is equal to 3. Here the meaning of this statement is 3 plus 1, 4. Now 4 is assigned to a. Just to increment the value of a by 1. Similarly, a is equal to minus of minus a. So, not minus is required. Already a comes of minus. a is equal to minus a in the sense. Simply, if a is equal to minus 5, minus of minus 5, minus into minus plus, then the 5 is assigned to a. What is the meaning of this one? Just you are updating the value of a. Just you are updating the value of a. So, if it is a negative number, Already it consists of minus, minus into minus positive that is stored in A. Now, print. Observe the my indentation. I am completed my if statement. Print A. Here I does not written any else. Why? Suppose if A is a positive value, the if condition, no need to evaluate the if condition. Directly you are printing the value. Continue with the remaining part of the program. See this one? If A is the positive value, the if condition is not evaluated, directly you are printing the value. Execute one more time. Minus 5. So, minus 5 less than 0. The condition is true. Whenever the condition is true, here you are performing or updating the A value. A is equal to minus of minus A. Minus of minus A means that is minus of minus 5 is plus 5. See this one. You clear the point. Clear? So, this is if. This is if. Simple if. No need to do anything. Just to condition is to perform the operation. Continue with the remaining part. If the condition is false, no need to do anything. Continue with the remaining part of the program. Now, two things are completed. One is simple if, another one is if else. Now, coming to the next one, if, l if, else. Here, what happens here? What is the meaning of this one? 
general scenario for example after completion of your graduation you are getting some grade so what is the grade you are getting either distinction or first class or second class third class fourth class for example fail so whatever it is at least we are getting one distinction how how you are getting the distinction understand carefully suppose if your percentage is greater than 90 you are getting distinction now if your percentage is 80 to 90 first class 70 to 80 second class 60 to 70 third class i think you clear the point how many conditions you have multiple conditions how many conditions you have you have multiple conditions based on the condition the corresponding statement is executed based on the condition the corresponding statement is executed are you clear see this one no problem you will understand clearly if condition one colon some statement one just for our understanding i written only one statement always remember you can write any number of statements l if condition to statement to l if condition 3 colon statement 3 and so on else statement 4 statement some x now for example statement some number n now what is the procedure in a program if you have more than one condition suppose my program is largest among three numbers largest among three numbers a b c so largest among two numbers means directly you give the answer either a greater than b or a less than b but largest among three numbers is you need to check a greater than b and at the same time a greater than c either a is large or b is large or c is large see this one first two you are evaluating the condition one yes condition one always whenever the condition is executed two values true or false if the condition one is true statement one is executed directly statement one is executed that means if your average is your percentage is greater than 90 i allotted a message distinction now Sir, once I allotted a message distinction, no need to check remaining conditions. Why? Already your percentage satisfies the first condition. You clear the point? If the condition 1 is true, statement 1 is executed and then continue with the remaining part that is statement X. So, all these remaining conditions no need to evaluate. Suppose if the condition 1 is false, then we are moving to next one. There we are checking condition 2. Checking condition 2. Again same problem. So if it is true or false. If it is true means statement 2 is executed and continue with the remaining part. So again check the third condition and so on. In one case, if all the conditions are failed, directly we are moving to else. Directly we are moving into else. Now, I will explain with an example. Then you will get the complete idea. Uh, for example, calculate the average m1 is equal to int of input of enter uh, for example marks 1. You can give any name. I already said enter mark 1 marks 1. So for example, I am reading 5 subjects marks m2, m3, m4. M5. These are the variables. Again, just for your understanding, marks 1, marks 2, marks 3, marks 4, and then marks 5. Here, what I am doing? 
here i am calculating some average so avg is equal to my variable name is avg so m1 plus m2 plus m3 plus m4 plus m5 divided by 2 divided by 2 sorry not 2 sorry divided by 5 this is the average marks now print average now print average execute the program so 89 76 96 83 and 79 okay so this is my average now based on the average you want to alert the particular cadder how if avg is greater than 90 or greater than or equal to 90 the conditions are your wish if average is greater than or equal to 90 just i am printing one message print distinction print distinction okay suppose if your average is not greater than 90 if your average is between 80 to 90, then you are printing first class. How? Give one backspace. L if average is greater than average is greater than 80. And, and average is less than 90. What is the meaning of this one? So, here you are checking your average is greater than 80 and at the same time your average is less than 90. Your average is less than 19. So, print some message. Print first class. Print first class okay suppose again if this condition also fail maybe the chance if average is 70 or 60 anything else if this condition is also false now what we are doing l if average greater than or equal to 70 and average less than 80 okay so these are the three conditions i written one is directly greater than 90. Second one is between the range 80 to 90. Suppose next one is in the range 70 to 80. In the range 70 to 80, print second class. Like this, you can apply to any conditions. There is no problem. You can apply for any conditions. Now, Suppose if all the conditions are fail, I am moving into else block, else colon, else colon. Okay. So we are printing some message fail. Clear? So, based on the condition only, we are doing the operation. Based on the condition, the corresponding statement is executed only. The remaining parts are based on the condition. Clear? This is if, if. Anyway, right now, nested if is not important. Whenever I am going to the jumping statements, I will explain the nested if also. Up to now, any doubts, please ask me.